Good day, this is Michael with Iconesis. Uh, we've had a lot of customers inquiring about shooting product photography for just general merchandise and uh, how our solutions work for more complex items with uh, the background removal tool. So today I wanted to provide a real-time workflow video for something that is typically uh, very hard to shoot. Um, something such as a hairbrush with, uh, with, white, uh, with white teeth on it. Um, Okay, so I've enabled my live view. I'm shooting inside our 15-inch LED studio along with a Canon Rebel T5 camera. Um, you'll see, obviously, a real-time preview of what my camera sees when I click the live view button up in the top left-hand corner. Uh, first and foremost, what I want to do here is just refocus my camera. Uh, I could do this manually if I wanted. Um, as you can see, I can start to bring stuff back into focus manually through mouse clicks. Um, the other option would just be to toggle back to autofocus and that will... Uh, put my camera, uh, it'll just trigger the autofocus. The next thing that we want to do is uh, is going to be adjust our camera settings for our lighting environment. So I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments here. As you can see, you can start to change your aperture and your shutter speed to optimize your camera settings for the lighting. Um, I'm not worried about the background here uh, so much. I'm more so worried about shooting correct color accuracy. Uh, this will be absolutely critical. Uh, looking at my product, it looks like we are very good on the color accuracy. And my last step before I enter in a capture will be to pre-crop my subject. This is not required. However, um, I do not wish to shoot the entire frame here. So I'll just define my shooting area and simply hit my snap button. You're going to hear the camera capture and upload that image directly to our computer. As you can see, a very high quality image captured in just seconds. Um, Say for instance, we want to shoot a couple different angles here. What I'm actually going to do is use our image overlay tool. I've just actually created this image overlay. You're going to see it gives me a transparent image overlay. And essentially what this is going to do is allow me to position my brush very much in the same kind of manner as, uh, as we had it positioned before. So I'll do something just something along these lines. Um, looks pretty good there. All right, so let's shoot it like this here. Um, what I'll do is I can get rid of that overlay and I'm just gonna snap, so that'll be our second image. Again, um, editing something like this onto a pure white background would be very difficult. As you can obviously see, you have white teeth um, and a lot of little kind of fine hairs. So um, we're gonna kind of be able to communicate the real power of our automated background removal tool. Um, I'm gonna remove my object, not change any variables. Hit the snap button once more, that's gonna capture uh, my third image and basically what this third image is is my background only image so that is going to be used and I'll explain a little bit more what's going to what we're going to use this background only image for um, essentially with our automated background removal tool we use computer vision uh, more specifically image recognition and we understand that since we didn't change any variables we're able to understand where a product is versus where the background is so we can see here um, it's comparing every single Every, there's probably millions of pixels in this image. Um, it's comparing every single one of those on a one-to-one -one basis with our reference image. So, um, and we do have some variables that we can start to uh, start to change inside of our background removal tool that will allow us to increase kind of our threshold or overall tolerance. So we can see the, the area that's blinking gray right now is going to be what's cut out transparent. So I simply just want to start to increase my, uh, my threshold here a bit. So I'll take it up to about, uh, let's say about 17, and I can start to view uh, with this one-to-one -one viewfinder on the right-hand screen to understand where the product is versus where the background is and see if it's giving us a nice cutout. Looks quite good there. Uh, let me hit next. I'll go and look at our second image and make sure that's gonna be cut out well. The cool thing about this tool is I wanna use it in a batch process. I don't wanna have to go and do this for every single one, so I'm simply gonna go here and hey, uh, hit OK, apply to all. Um, so what that's doing is automatically extracting the background from the product image uh, in a batch process. Uh, one thing I will stress is the importance of using correct lighting. We're working again with our 15 inch LED product photography studio and uh, this studio does a great job because it's bottom and backlit and we're able to eliminate shadows when shooting inside of this studio. Um, so that's going to be pretty critical here. Uh, okay, so we can see image, uh, image 2. Let's go and view it at 100%. You can see it did a very, very good cutout um, of our actual image, again, onto the transparent background. And let's view image number one here. And you can see, again, absolutely flawless. So it is a very powerful tool um, that will help streamline uh, the overall uh, imaging process from image capture 
to uh, image editing. And then again, in the last step, you're going to see our image output. I'll simply rename our file. We'll call it hairbrush. It's going to batch rename everything, and it'll be hairbrush one, two, three, etc. You can get pretty creative with the naming based on your requirements. You can also choose the batch resize. Uh, maybe I need all these images at a thousand pixels wide. I'll choose my output folder. Uh, simply hit OK, and we've output those images, and we're on to our next. Output can include TIFF or PNG images, which will retain the transparent background properties, or also JPEG images, which you can always choose your uh, background that you wish to use. For instance, if I want uh, to output JPEG images with pure white backgrounds, basically what I'll do is my alpha blending option, I would choose my background color. Um, you know, maybe it's red, maybe it's yellow. You're going to see here, we'll, we'll see the change. Um, if you output the, uh, the, uh, the image and I can get rid of that che checkerboard pattern, you can see our image with the yellow background there. Um, so a great tool for, for product photography, saving a lot of time and effort. Let us know if there's any questions. Thank you.